Alrighty, friends. Um, we're running a high risk of dog barking right now because there's kids playing outside, but we'll just go for it. Um, my Apple Pen's not working, so that's amazing. I'm going to do the last solving day notes. And so, um, oh, that's because I wasn't in notability. Holy moly. Here we go. Now it should work. The last solving day is going to be, what do we do if the original problem has logs in it or LN? So what we did yesterday was we had problems that had exponentials, meaning X was in the power. So we had to use rewriting it as a log to keep going. Today we're going to have logs and one of our strategies will be rewriting it as a power and then we'll be able to solve it. One thing they have to be careful of, and it doesn't happen often, and honestly, I don't feel like it even happens in these notes, but when you're solving equations that have logs in them at the beginning, when you're done, you have to make sure that your answer does not make it so you're taking the log of a negative. Like you can have a negative number, but you have to make sure that when you plug it in, so like in this problem, when you put the X in that spot, that it doesn't make this whole thing a negative number because that would be bad because then it would force me to take the log of a negative and you can't. If you try to take a log of any negative number on your calculator, it's gonna give you an error because you can't take the log of a negative. So if that happens, they're extraneous. We've run across that term before, meaning they're numbers that you get but don't actually work. It's pretty rare. I don't believe it happens in notes, so that's probably not ideal. It would be nice if we saw that happen once, but just know it can happen. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get the log part of the problem alone and then rewrite it as a power. So I got to get rid of that too. Since it's multiplied in, I'll divide it out. So now I have this. And it seems like we don't know how to solve that. But if we rewrite this, and I'm talking about like what we've been doing over and over again, log base B of something equals the power. That's kind of where I'm at. And then we would change it to base to this power equals this answer. So let's do that. So if we start in the base, we'll be at seven, take it to the zero power, come back around and that'll equal two X. Anything to the zero power is one. When I divide it by two, my X is one half. Clearly plugging a half in for that X will not force you to take this, the log of a negative, so you're good to go. Here, even though it has a lot going with it, it is already in log form and there's nothing added, subtracted, multiplied, or divide to the log. So we're gonna go right to writing it in the other format. So four is in the basement, go to get the power, come back, and it's gonna equal this entire thing. And even though that is kind of weird, at least now we know how to do it, four squared is 16, and now it just became an algebra one problem. We'll add 12, We'll have that 28 equals 3x. Dividing by 3, x is going to be 28 thirds. And I would just leave it like that. And if you put that in here, it would end up 3 times 28 thirds minus 12 would be positive. And so then I'm going to be fine. So same thing here, this looks messy, but the parentheses, all of that's one log statement, so I'm ready to go and put it into the other format. So five squared will equal this four X minus seven, and now it's algebra one, because four, excuse me, five squared is 25. We're gonna add seven. Now we have 32 equals four X. We'll divide by four and we get eight. And putting eight, Eight in for X will give us a positive number. Four times eight minus seven is a positive number. So here, the log part that we need alone is this. So we need to get rid of some stuff. We're gonna start by getting rid of this 12 because that's added on. That'll give us this and it'll be equal to 30. Since we have the six multiplied out front, we're gonna divide it by six. So we get log base two of four X plus eight, and that's gonna be five. Now we just have a single log, log base two of something. So we're gonna go ahead and do our rewrite. Two to the fifth equals four X plus eight. And as soon as we do that, it becomes just a regular algebra problem.
So 32 minus 8 is going to land me at 24. And if I divide by 4, I get 6. And certainly if I put a 6 in there, I'll get 24 plus 8, which is not negative. So in all of these problems, we had just logs on one side of the equal sign. And so we just used converting it or rewriting it to base to a power equals a number form. That worked for us. Now in these bottom two, you can see that there's actually logs on both sides of the equal sign. These look like they're going to be so confusing, and they're really not because if you have the log base 3 of something equals the log base 3 of something, the only way they're going to be equal is if the things inside the parentheses are equal. So just like anything else, if you have the same thing on both sides, you can cancel it out. So I ended up with just an algebra 1 problem. Oops, I changed that to an x, but nobody cares. And I'm going to go ahead and solve that. I'm going to move all my x's to one side. 2x minus 5 equals negative 1. Add 5 to the other side. I get this, and so easy. I get that x is 2. Here, if I put in a 2, I'd get 8 minus 5, which is 3. That's a positive number. Here, if I put in a 2, sorry, I get 4 minus 1, which is 3, so that's a positive number. And same thing here. When you start this problem, you can see, oh, hey, there's a log base 2 here and here, so I can cancel that out. And then I'm just doing algebra 1. So the ones that look really horrific are actually not that terrible. I'm going to move this over. 7x plus 2 equals 23. Take that 2 to the other side. Divide by 7. I know I'm going through this part pretty quickly, but I am just doing algebra 1. And then if I tested my 3s in these spots, it keeps them both positive. I kind of do wish we saw one where there was an extraneous solution just so you knew what that looked like. I'm going to cheat here and look at the homework real quick and see if there's one like that. Zoom, zoom to 7, 6. Otherwise, you can be done. But I just wanted to see. Sorry. Expand, condense, solve. I don't see any. So I guess that's a fun fact that we don't need to worry about. Am I wrong? Double checking. Okay. I think we're good. All right. Hope that helps, guys. Sorry. <laughs>